Hey guys, this is a bit of a different video. I think my more loyal subscribers will find this interesting, but I wanted to do a bit of a state of the channel update. Um, I've been consistently posting videos for the past month now, and I think this year I would definitely want to be a lot more consistent on YouTube. And with that, I need to make myself accountable for something. So I found that whenever I publicly commit to something, it's easier for me to then actually go and do it because of the shame factor. So yeah, this is a state of my channel and I've actually prepared some slides here because I'm just that weird. I need slides to be able to function in my life. Um, they're very simple, so here we go. This is a bit of a state of a channel. I think first thing we wanna do is just a bit of a status update on where we're at now. And for that, we're gonna jump into my YouTube analytics. So as you'll see here, um, past 28 days for me have been a lot more consistent. I've been able to post really consistently. Four videos over the past 28 days is basically a video a week and I haven't been at that level in years, right? And I've also posted 10 shorts and that's led to some good things. 63 subs, which is more than usual. Revenues still not great. Now I'm only averaging around $20 a month and we'll get to that in a bit. Um, but views are up watch time's up, subscribers are up, things are looking pretty decent, and most importantly for me, consistency is up. Um, I've posted a variety of different content, and yeah, I've just enjoyed it a bit more, but we'll get to that a bit later. Goals for me by February and by the end of the year, so I wanna get to 2,000 subs by the end of Feb. I am 36 subs away from that. If you see this and you actually like what I'm doing, a sub would be amazing, but don't sub unless you're gonna watch a, a lot of my other videos, please. And I wanna get to 2,500 by the end of 2023. I think that's a relatively conservative goal. As long as I'm consistently posting, I should get there. I want to get $1,000 in brand deals. This is probably the most ambitious one, but it could happen because I've actually been contacted by two brands over the past, three months, which is very promising for me, given that I haven't been active lately on YouTube. So I am hoping that as long as I meet this input goal, which is at least four non shorts videos a month, I should be able to get to this goal as well. So let's actually move on to what has been working, right? Um, I've seen that shorts are a good source of subs and are easy to make. If you look at my content splits here and look at shorts, you'll see that I got 52 out of my, what was it, 63 subs are from shorts. That's very promising. It means that if I keep making shorts, I'll keep getting subs. I finally got some folks reach out to me for some deals, as I said, which I never expected, especially at my size, which is under 2,000 subscribers. And most importantly for me, I'm getting back into a groove of creating consistent content and enjoying it again. I actually have found time for YouTube again. I think of it as a hobby again, and I'm just hoping that I'm able to keep this consistent throughout the year because that's always been my Achilles heel. Now, what's still up in the air and what hasn't worked as well for me? I still haven't had consistent engagement despite the increase in subs. Now, I know I have like five consistent commenters that I always see from video to video and really appreciate you guys because it means that at least my content's resonating with some people, but definitely given my channel size and given the no number of views that I get, my repeat viewership and my engagement is very low. So this is a really important stat that I look at that I just haven't been able to crack is the returning viewers mark. You'll see that I have around a thousand plus viewers for new viewers, but very few of them actually come back. And this is a gap that I would love to close. I also just haven't nailed, I guess, my audience profile just yet, because if you'll see here, it's clear that I am hitting geographies that I don't know much about. Like, you would think that a lot of my viewers would be either from Australia because from there I'm from there, or from the Philippines because I'm from there, but they make up a very small amount of my viewership. You'll also see that because I have just one video consistently doing well, which is my Casio shorts video, which just blew up out of nowhere. You'll see this is where shorts are really surprising. It was basically dead for a year and then it started getting traction and then boom, it's suddenly, I think it's because it's the top 
search result and they've put shorts uh, shorts shorts videos on search it's just been going crazy for me i've had a lot of good growth from it i mean i've only had 60 cents worth of revenue from it but that's been increasing since the shorts uh, monetization is now live but yeah i think it means that i should make more watch content but i'm not a watch guy the fact that i made this video was to tell people that you don't need a fancy watch to have a functional watch this is a 20 dollars watch but i don't know that's where i'm still a bit frustrated because my content is still very much search heavy so you'll see here where is that how viewers find you 60 percent of viewers still find me via search 20 percent via shorts so this is very low loyalty and retention content from a channel retention point of view because it means that people find me and then people just click out and don't watch any of my videos because they're finding it useful just for that video but it doesn't mean they're going to like return video to video so i think that might mean i need to grow a bit of an audience from scratch i think i'll need to be okay with my general vlog and life update stuff just not getting content and then just starting to build an audience from there but yeah i have to understand that videos like this one that you're watching it will probably be at around 20 30 views for a while and maybe that's just how i need to start and i need to start building up that audience because i think people are subscribing because they appreciate that i've added value to their lives but then it'll mean that they don't really like a lot of my other content and that's bad because that means that the YouTube algorithm won't push me out. This is what's important, the browse features and the suggested videos, because that means that YouTube thinks that more people should discover my content, but it's just not there yet. And maybe that's the secret to growing my channel. The other thing that I am curious about still is live streaming. So I think there's some potential here, but I don't really know who I'm going to reach by live streaming. I've done two streams of about 30 minutes each over the past week. And I've gotten surprising engagement on it. Like people have just come in and commented and I had a few good chats with a few people there. So thank you for that. But for me personally, I wouldn't watch live streams on YouTube unless they're like official media broadcasts. And it's maybe just a thing where, you know, if, if I'm not gonna watch my own content, will I enjoy doing it? But at the same time, it could be a potential avenue for growth. So I might just, play around with this over the next few weeks and just see would anyone actually be interested. But, you know, all in all, that's that's it for a bit of a state of a channel update. Um, most important thing for me is to just, yeah, do this, stay consistent until the end of the year. And if you're a loyal audience member, I would love to just hear your feedback on what you would actually find interesting because Otherwise, I'm just posting whatever I want. And I think that that is fine for a few people. Um, but you'll see, yeah, there's a big disparity in my content type. I think people have always liked my tech content more. Um, but also, I just like reviewing things and talking about things that I've personally enjoyed because that will make it easier for me to make a video. It's not going to feel forced. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it for a bit of a channel update. Um, let me know what you think. And if you found this interesting, um, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback. I will have a better edited video with a more specific topic next time. This is just a bit of an update for me, again, for accountability purposes. But if you've reached the end of this video, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.